young club that we're developing properly. One of the things that I want to talk uh, to you guys about today is um, this opportunity for a dog to go and bite a potential criminal designed as a decoy. So I'm going to let you take the bite and then you're going to start playing with the dog and stroking the dog's head and, and then we're going to show you the consequences of this type of foolishness. Because that can only be a dog that's a sport dog. So, in the realms of those that claim that they're creating real dogs, why would a dog benefit from being conditioned by an intruder to caress it? Because that will lead to being stabbed. So we'll show you. Open your arm. Back up! <laughs> so that's on the outside. Out! On the outside. Out! So already now you can start to see where the benefits are um, as the decoy uh, starts to swing the active uh, arm. Um, the dog's spatial awareness is improving and if you start to watch now instead of just being locked in this deep unconditional bite uh, without any self uh, awareness, uh, self preservation, the dog now switches and delivers a control bite to the active arm that could be potentially swinging a knife to stab it or a hammer or whatever, um, it mitigates it effectively. Again, we demonstrate um, a lot of times I've seen uh, dogs being conditioned the dog's eyes are totally closed um, and it's just locked on and just hanging on for dear life this is not safe you can see now the dog has got his eyes open he's looking for the movement of the active arm and effectively switches across delivers that bite and, and that arm is disabled now you know there's so many bites that a, a hand a human arm can take before that arm is rendered useless and ineffective in causing further harm to the dog or to the to the homeowner or handler. That's why this is important. Good show! Good show! Good show! That's intelligence. Yeah, that's a dog that wants to stay alive. Sit back down so we can get it. Yeah. 
much that we can do. Sit down, sir. Harder, isn't it? Yeah. And you can start to see now, um, the dog is even looking at the active leg um, and switching the bite across uh, to the active leg. That active leg could have uh, metal steel cap uh, sh boots on um, and concuss the dog, absolutely boot the, the life out of the dog. Not if the dog anticipates the next move, delivers a control bite and disables the leg. Very, very effective way uh, to mitigate threats. It's really wonderful to, to watch. We've uh, linked uh, a dual behavior hold and bark um, and to get proofing of understanding. Here we have the leg coming from the arm bite um, simulating a kick um, and watching the dog he's kept his eyes open because he's aware now that this is this is going to happen um, and he's delivered a control bite to, to the kneecap. You know, that kneecap will be absolutely messed up. Brilliant stuff. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Um, the Belcando range of dog food, grain-free uh, product that we import from Germany, uh, German engineering. It, the product is incredibly uh, nutritious uh, and beneficial uh, for growing dogs, as you can see from the efforts of, uh, of Cassius, well-fed.